In this review we look at lifting beam accessories for crane models. They are made by YCC and the first one is a 64 ton capacity adjustable beam. The model number is 7011 with the extra one denoting that the beam is in red as all the beams reviewed here are also available in yellow. Another type of beam is this 20 ton capacity adjustable beam and it has model number 703. And we'll start by looking at a 40 ton capacity fixed beam and that's got model number 702. The lifting beam arrives in the simplest of packaging, it's just a plastic bag and inside that the beam is uh, wrapped in tissue paper and it's quite a nicely made item um, with some good detail and a nice uh, matte paint finish uh, which looks pretty good uh, when you see it in the flesh. The beam can be lifted in two ways, one way is using the central lug but that won't necessarily fit all hooks and it doesn't actually fit on the uh, Manitowoc 555 because of the safety latch on the hook. So the alternative way is to use a chain and the chains in this review are all from um, Sword Models pack of chains and then just hook that on and uh, put that over the, over the hook so it hangs. The other flexibility is that there's a variety of points on the beam where you can attach the chains that fit to the load. So once you've worked out where you need to fit the chains so that they hang vertically, you can just offer them up to the load and then you're all set to display the beam. Next up is the 20 ton beam and this is packaged the same way as the 40 ton beam. And it also includes a spare black plastic pin because this is an adjustable lifting beam. It consists of two pieces which um, telescope together so when you remove uh, the locking pin you can just pull it apart and you can see that you then get a different uh, length between the uh, chains that uh, support the load. Um, it's very well made because the uh, mechanism is perfectly smooth and there's no paint scratching off or anything like that. So when you when you set it the distance you want you just pin it up and we'll keep the spare pin uh, stored at the end of the beam. So we'll use this beam to try and lift uh, a panel that's going to be delivered on a truck and that's uh, something like a uh, could be a piece of a building or something like that, a cladding panel. Um, so the thing to do is just to uh, measure up with the lifting beam, set it to the right distance for the piece that you want to lift and then when it's pinned in place um, it's just a matter of fitting the uh, chains to the uh, four lifting points, two up to the hook and two down to the load and when you're all set uh, you're kind of ready then to uh, pose the lift that you want to do. to the final set of lifting beams and this is the 64 ton fully adjustable set and it's different because it comes in a box and there's a small bag of parts and uh, you've got a couple of small beams and one uh, main beam and some brackets. The smaller beams can just be used as lifting beams on their own and um, I fitted the two small brackets onto those already and here's the main beam which again can also be used uh, on its own and you just get the bracket and it just uh, slots over the end and uh, when you've put one on each end you can just add your chains uh, onto the brackets they just uh, hook on through the holes and then you can offer them up to the load which in this case is going to be uh, a steel beam and you just can space the uh, brackets um, along the beam to kind of even it up and then you're ready to um, mount it on the crane and you've got your lift of a steel beam all posed so far in this review we've been using Sword Models chains um, but with these uh, brackets on these beams you can um, turn them upside down and then you get a thin slot uh, which is on the bottom and so if you've got suitable straps you can use those um, instead of chains. So again these are some uh, Sword Models straps and the first thing you can do is just hook them into the slot if you just want a kind of a single drop. So we'll just put that on the beam quickly to show how that works so you could just do it like that or if you want to um, force the strap through the slot then again you can mount it on the beam and effectively you then got a pair of straps hanging down 
uh, if you want to sling your load that way. However, the most interesting way to use this set of lifting beams is to lift something like this whole lot scissor lift. Um, the main beam is long enough to cover the length of the scissor lift and you can see that the two cross beams um, can also be set to cover the width of the scissor lift with the chains going down to the stabilizer pads. So when you've got it uh, roughly sized up you can take the scissor lift away and then assemble the lifting beams and just take the main beam and put the two cross beams on at each end and when you've done that you've formed your lifting frame and you can just attach the chains uh, onto the lifting beam and then onto the load. To summarise, these lifting beams give interesting possibilities with crane models and if you can afford the higher price then they are highly recommended. Thank you.